And how many nights in a row have you had these dreams? Three nights now. Hmm. That correlates with the last time I saw Professor Aaron. And you're absolutely certain it was her voice you heard in these dreams? I'm certain of it. I know the others as well. But it's impossible. They don't exist here. Well, dreams are my area of expertise, but uh, you're not having dreams. You're having visions. Visions? But that timeline was wiped out of existence. Well, anything is possible. But visions aren't really my area, so I'd like to bring in someone who has a little more uh, savvy with these things. <laughs> if you pardon the pardon. All right. Thank you for joining us on such short notice. I know how busy you are, but you do have more experience in these areas than I do. Well, I'm happy to help, but the headmaster tells me that Professor Aaron is missing and that he's had no contact from her. Yes, and in the meantime, I've been having the strangest dreams and they don't make sense. Uh, the headmaster gave me the letter that Professor Aaron began writing. She only managed to write, Headmaster, I've gone... And then it's as if she'd been pulled away mid-sentence. Well, that's disturbing, to say the least. Yes. I thought perhaps we might conduct a seance in which we could channel Savi's vision using your gift of sight, Mr. Secretary. You think that these visions are related to Savi's timeline? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, let's join hands. Spirits, speak to us. We are here to listen. Ophelia, speak to us from realms beyond. I have to find the journal. He can help me. Who can help you? Where are you? There are other times, other realities, where the journal has already been decoded. You can't trust anyone from those other realities. We're, We're in, in the, the void. void. He, he can't. can't. Ophelia, don't! I need answers. This is the only way. <laughs> She's gone. She's with him now. <laughs>